কাডন বসকু ইউথ সেন্টার লাইট অমখা শলং হাকা আর ফুসাও তারেক জিলেও আর হাজার আর ফুসাও কাপ্লে ইয়াকা কোচিং প্রোগ্রাম নাগা বন্তা কি খোন সামলা কে বাদন জিংথমু বানে খুন ইয়াকা এম পি এস সি এগজাম এস এস সি এগজাম কি বং এগজাম বাদ কি ওই কি ওই কি কম্পেটিভ এগজাম কানি কা কোচিং প্রোগ্রাম কলং কুম কা সেন জাম বাই না কবনতা কডন বসকু ইউথ সেন্টার বাদ কা প্লে লাট প্লে লি না কবনতা কি তু কি বা থ্রাং শিষা বান ইয় জিং হি কাই বাদ জিং পুন সাই হালোর কি নে কি এগজাম বা ফের বা ফের রাসডং ইয়া কানি কা সি দা জিং রুয়াই না ইসামলা আই দা মে শা ওয়ান খার বোট সাকা জিং ক্রেন পিয়া সঙ্গ ভা না ই ডাইরেক্টর জ কডন বসকু ইউথ সেন্টার ফাদার মাইখেল মাকরি ইবাল আই মেন সেম রু ইয়া কি খোন সামলা কি বেয়া দন লং বাকি নম দো জিং কমেন হেন্রে বাকি থম মেকি জিং এ বাকি আন দো হাকা জিং এম বমান কী
Layo e ka jing na armut kisamla ha ka jing alam jong kisamla wan ban ki bala pen bernia ya baro ki baya don lang. Ikongsan hakani kesni ba Roni Walang MCS Deputy Secretary Forest and Environment Department hakajing kren. Ila kentu bat ai men si miki khun samla bakin shim yakani kalat baka Don Bosco Youth Center kapli na kebenta jungki. Ila pensyairu ba hakajing im ngin yakendu ekijing e ki babun bat ila kentu iki khun samla bakin Don Barabor yakam men si ban yakun yakita kirai e raidam. At the outset, I join each one of you in thanking God for this wonderful opportunity uh, that has been afforded to each one of us. And as we thank God, we should really look into ourselves and ask ourselves, are we not privileged to be in this place at this point of time on the 24th of June at 11.30 a.m. at Don Bosco Youth Center Whereas many of your contemporaries are perhaps elsewhere, hoping to do something else, or perhaps finding life very difficult, or perhaps being lonely and discouraged. I'm really glad that the song that we began with, though it harped on the negativity of life and the difficulties young people face, I was just discussing with Madam, that this age and generation, while it talks about social media, it talks about lingos, it talks about people achieving various feats in different aspects of life, yet, may I say, with a tinge of sadness, that this is also an age of loneliness and hopelessness. It is therefore important, young people, that you take out your bucket, draw from here. Your hopelessness will disappear, your loneliness will disappear, your discouragement will disappear. And when you are together in a coaching center, let me be very candid. It is not just about teaching. A coaching center is basically a center where you unlock yourself. Open up yourself to a plethora of opportunities that will come your way. It is a journey to self-discovery. If you take it very seriously, believe me, you will discover certain attributes in you which you think never existed. You will discover that you are a new person, you are more confident, and you are willing, as Father has correctly pointed out, to take on risks in lives. Unfortunately, we are a generation that loves whining. Or as Father had said, complaining. We complain if we are not firmly ensconced in our career course, or if we do not have within ourselves that motivation to reach for the goal. I will just share with you my own experience and just a minute or two. I never had the opportunity to go for coaching. I cracked the civil service in the year 2010. It came as a surprise to me. I went into the exams definitely with the intention to pass, with the intention to be in the state civil service, which is considered the premier service of the state. I did put a lot of expectations, but I never expected to clear the exams. And what motivated me? Though we did not have a formal setup like this, where you have coaching, but it was a few friends who came together. 
who decided to motivate each other. Back then there was no social media, back then there was no YouTube, back then there was no online coaching. It was pure mentoring and motivation. So as I said, we were not hopeless, we were hopeful. And when you are hopeful, nature will conspire, the world will conspire to ensure that you are successful. Though I may be in the service, there are challenges which we have to face in day in and day out. Very kind of our chairperson to have said, you must have seen him on TV, you must have seen him in the newspaper. You must have seen me on TV, basically when there is a problem in Shalom, with the NGOs. And I do not read the comment section. Because as they say, no grapes is always sour, right? You have sour grapes around. So all, all kinds of comments to demotivate you will be there. I don't look at the comments. I know, my God knows, and my conscience knows that if I'm able to do my best, despite the challenges, despite the anger at times by virtue of being a human and fraud, but I go back home peacefully, get a good night's sleep, to wake up the next morning, to fix the next challenge. Because as long as you live, challenges will be there. The day your challenges end is when you are six feet under. So may God bless each one of you. May this journey together and this endeavor of Don Bosco Youth Center and reaching out. And I'm pretty sure that in the years to come, or perhaps even next year, what Father had said, God bless him, as they say in Hindi, Mere Mumi Ki Shakar, that the next group of people who will come here will be individuals who want to grant the Meghalaya Civil Service, the Indian Administrative Service and the All India Services. We need young people at the helm of affairs and please remember if you want to see a better Meghalaya, the change has to begin. Lapan kut yakani kesengi da kajing ruai na isam latia Vanessa Kurba bat kajing ai kubles ngongu na ipada Michael Mark.